welcome back to my channel I got another mani tutorial for you guys and I'm also going to be reviewing this um, form pretty plate and this is the square one and the number is BPX38 and I will show you the plate I already played with it so I already removed the film Now I really love flowers, like anything with flowers, I really like. Alright, so the image that I'm going to use for this tutorial is this one right here. And so we're going to put that there. And I'm going to be using my Born Pretty Scraper, flexible one. And I'm going to use my AliExpress Stamper. Um, I got another AliExpress Stamper. Um, I already picked up the image, I already put the center of that. And what I got on my nails, on my base, is this Masura. And this one is 904201. Um, Sue's on Golden Cloud. Cloud? On Golden Cloud, yeah. Okay. It's a really pretty, like, olive um, color. And this is a magnetic, magnet um, polish, as you guys can see. It looks really beautiful. I already did a couple of my nails, as you guys can see, but I'm going to show you how I did it. So it's reverse stamping. Uh, I'm going to be using my white moon nails. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, to color the flowers, I'm, gonna, I'm using these two um, Brazilian stamping polish. And that's the name of it. La Fim. Amarillo and Rosa. I uh, hope I'm pronouncing it right. <laughs> Alright, so let's get started. Um, actually, I already picked up the image here. I'm going to show you guys. I already put the center in. And we're going to start coloring this flower so they can start drawing and then we'll pick up um, the image again for you guys. And for this one, I just kind of did it like with the brush. I wasn't, I wasn't really car careful. I was like, eh, it should be fine, even if I don't do it perfect. Okay, so you can continue doing that. Okay, so we're done with this one. I'm just gonna let it dry. While that one is drying, we're gonna pick up the image, but I'm gonna do it right here on camera for you guys. And I'm just using my white moon nails. Very nicely. Okay, so let's get rid of that we don't need it. Mm. All right, so let's start with the yellow, and I'm just gonna a small little tiny dot in the middle. And when you're doing reverse stamping, don't be scared, just have fun. I really love doing reverse stamping, I always have fun doing it. 
and you know it, it usually it usually looks really nice I think people get very frustrated when doing this they I don't know I feel like they want everything like super duper perfect and then they end up getting frustrated and then they just make a terrible job so my advice to you have fun okay so we're gonna put the pink and I always remember when you use when you're using like two polish in one like image like kind of wait for the polish to dry if you don't have any experience you don't want to make a mess but I'm not gonna wait I kind of I think I can do this without making a mistake hey without doing a a mess okay I gotta get, I gotta be like very concentrated when I'm doing this actually. And that's why when I'm talking while doing this, I kind of just get lost. I'm like, what the hell I was saying? So, <laughs> if you guys notice that, excuse me for that. It's just I get very concentrated and then I start saying things and then, I don't know, all of a sudden I don't even know what I'm saying. Nothing makes sense. All right, so we're done with that one too, so we're gonna let it dry. And we're gonna start swatching the rest of the plate. I'm gonna be using some pop sticks, and I will use some of that pink polish.
Alright you guys, so these are dry. So now I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild Shine. And this is a clear nail polish protector. Um, I get this one from Dollar Tree. I think you can find it at Walmart. If I'm not mistaken, I usually just get it from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to put some of this. Now be careful. Just slightly touch your image. You don't want to smudge your design okay like barely touch your your design because you don't want to mess up the whole thing and then it won't even look pretty anymore okay so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna wait for this to um, almost dry, not completely, and I think I mentioned a couple times the way that I know when the decal is ready um, to stamp on your nails when you touch it and you can barely see your fingerprint on, on the image. So I'm going to let that dry a little bit and I'll be right back. You guys, so these are ready. So let's start applying them to the nail. Uh, I will start with the middle and hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. Make sure to use a bigger stamper for this. Uh, and get not panic and everything should be fine
this design is really pretty. I really like it. Um, so I'm just going to clean around my cuticles really good. And I'm done with this mani tutorial slash um, review. Hope you guys like it. Uh, if you guys did, uh, give me a big thumbs up. But give me a big one, okay? Don't give me a little one. <laughs> that would be pretty cool if YouTube would have a big thumb up and a small one. <laughs> and if you, every time you get a big one, it meant like, oh yeah, you did pretty good, really good, you know? I don't know. I'm just talking. Alright guys, so again, this is the final result. Hope you guys, hope you guys like my my Manny, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, bye, bye everyone. Alright, bye. <laughs>